everyone, this is Cindy Warmington. Uh, just coming out of the Executive Council meeting today. A lot of important things happened today. As most of you may have heard by now, Gordon McDonald was confirmed as the Chief Justice of our Supreme Court. Uh, I hope that Gordon surprises me and turns out to be a great Chief Justice because it's what the people of New Hampshire need. I expressed in voting in my opposition to his confirmation, I pointed out um, that Gordon McDonald is the first Chief Justice in a century to be um, appointed with no judicial experience. And the issue there is that judicial a judicial record tells you what kind of a judge they're going to be and whether they can really set aside their personal beliefs and leave those at the door and make decisions without, without taking those into consideration. And unfortunately, we don't have a judicial record on Gordon McDonald. What we do have is his work as Attorney General, and we've seen that he, um, <coughs> he um, supported a law to divert taxpayer money to support religious schools, and he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money to fight and, and uphold an unconstitutional voting restriction. And he dismissed, without even any investigation, a complaint against the New Hampshire Republican Party, his former client, uh, without doing any investigation um, of, of uh, voter suppression. Um, these are all really concerning. And also, Gordon's judicial philosophy um, he, his philosophy is that you interpret the United States Constitution based on the, way, the meaning of the words at the time they were written. And we quoted from um, Dr. Justice um, Souter and Justice Chuck Douglas and Justice um, Kennedy yesterday, um, other conservative justices who have a different philosophy, who believe that our Constitution is a living, breathing document and that the <clears throat> that it, it is not a robotic exercise of interpretation, but one that takes into consideration the facts in a changing world. And in our time right now where we are facing you know, racial inequality, gender inequality, where we, where we have political division, I feel it very strongly, we need a court that really, really can ad adopt and adapt and adjust to the changes of our day. And I don't think Gordon McDonald is the right person for that. But I wish him well, and I am um, hoping that he will surprise me. Uh, another item on the agenda today, the governor um, appointed to the position of um, deputy commissioner of insurance, or the insurance commissioner appointed um, a, a political uh, operative from the governor's office to be deputy commissioner of insurance. And um, that is a position was, that was just long filled by somebody very capable, very, very knowledgeable about insurance. And it is really unfortunate to see that um, there is somebody in that position with really limited experience. And um, they even put him in a, uh, at a step five um, rate uh, my vote against this was really in protest to his appointment to that position. Um, we had an important update from Commissioner Chibonette on the vaccine, vaccination uh, distribution. Uh, by 10 o'clock this morning, 123,000 people had already signed up for it. So uh, make sure if you haven't that you've signed up. If you don't know how to sign up, um, then call, you can call 211 and get help. Um, but make sure if you're eligible, sign up. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get out a written um, summary of what happened in the meeting and thank you all for your time today. Take care.